Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is an absolutely massive, massive day. We are reacting to the world record Shadows of Evil Easter Egg speedrun by the one, the only, you know it's nobody else but Mr. Steve. He is literally the speedrun god. He has held so many world records and high round records over the years. And uh, I didn't know this, but recently, a couple months ago, he actually broke the Shadows of Evil speedrun record. And apparently this is like the fixed audio version. His other video has like 1.5 million views. It'll be down in the description below if you want to go watch it. But we w I want to watch this. Uh, essentially, basically, the difference in this between like, I, I guess, a you. normal Easter egg is that you only have to kill the Shadow Man, I guess, because obviously whenever you're solo, you physically cannot like do the entire easter egg right like that 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 much is uh oh that, that jump is really really annoying to make right off the start um yeah that's, basically you can't beat the easter egg solo in shadows of evil it's one of the only easter eggs like in basically forever raindrops right off the start you know you know that that is going to go absolutely in here in a second <laughs> Bro, 26 minutes for Shadows of Evil. I would I would have thought 26 minutes of it would just be like traversing the map and doing the map. That is absolutely wild. Like that is actually absolutely wild. Nuke. So he's going to pick up all of it, I guess, except for the... Uh... Well, he has Insta, so he doesn't actually need the death machine at all. I'm surprised he he's not picking up the... Uh... The carpenter for the points here. I, can I guess I guess that's for a reason. I'm not sure. So I get he, he's just speed running all of the rituals first. Now the main difference between this and the uh, shadows of evil. Uh, no, sh shadows. What am I saying? The uh, the origins Easter egg speed run is that this one is going to be all about movement, whereas the origins is kind of like remembering where you're going and everything. Oh, that is a sick jump. You get it? Okay, well, obviously, it's a world, it's a world record speedrun. There's going to be literally no wasted time. That is a sick jump for beast mode. One of my favorite things about this map is learning all of the, like, routes that you can take when in beast mode to maximize your time, basically. And that, that was a very, very nice one. I'm not going to lie. All right, so he's going to go do his second ritual now. Bro, just, watch, just seeing this map, this map truly shows, like, how good black... This sounds weird. But it truly shows how actually good Black Ops 3's, like, lighting system is. The lighting system was so, so clean. Wow, he has Widow's Wine and Jug off the two random perks. <laughs> he probably actually is looking for stamina up off that. And it, it's, we it, dude, it's actually crazy because I think that you have to maximize your gobble gums and that even though they're so OP... You actually don't want to be like rushing gobblegums the entire time because it's a waste of time. Gobblegums take like 10 seconds to get out. You know what I mean? So as you can see right there, he's going to hit that pre a spot. He's going to get that perkaholic. So that's going to give him that stamina up that he was waiting for. Hey, you out there. Was talking to what, what, is he, what is he looking for right now? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Bro, Jeff Goldblum, man. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, man. Freaking love that guy. Pop shocks. That, see, that's interesting. I would have figured he would go go for something like the. Uh, well, I guess it might still be in his like gobble gum pack. I would have figured instead of pop shocks being like the thing you go for, I would have figured that you would go for something like uh, um, what's it called? Like like uh the wall power thing where you buy a weapon off the wall and it becomes a pack a bunch, and then you get the KRM pack a bunch. I feel like that's more of like a long term like uh like a long-term option why is he not killing the margua here he has pop shocks all he has to do is knife the margua why is he not knifing it right there i mean obviously it's part of the strat my favorite thing about watching speedruns is learning like okay so he just didn't want to waste time while he was running i guess that, that's when you know you're a true speedrunner. You literally don't do anything. You don't do anything. He's not even going to worry about the Margo Heart either. He, he, he said that that's a waste of time right there. 
Yeah, it, things that just you would instinctually pick up, speedrunners literally don't even think about. I think he's just trying to end the round ASAP here. Grabbing the worm. Yeah, he, he, he wants to get the rounds going as quickly as possible, which makes sense. He needs a pretty constant flow of points here. Wondering why he's not using any like shopping freeze or anything like that. Maybe, maybe he does have shopping free. So th this will kind of show what he has in here. Wall power. See, there it is. I told you. I, I did I not call that? I called that. There, there, there had to have been wall power because he's gonna pick up that KRM off the wall. All right. He's AFK. <laughs> he's literally just taking a leisurely stroll on the train. I always, I always just draw them out. There's like charts and stuff. I literally just draw them out on a sheet of paper whenever I get them. Unless there's something really, really easy to remember, but I just find it easier to draw them out than to do anything else. Nice. Okay, so he's got two of the three symbols. I'm wondering, does he use... There's a strat in this map where you can, like, jump with the beast mode and actually, like, see one of the symbols that you normally can't see. Does that make sense? Okay, let's see. This route... Ooh. <gasps> I've never thought to go this route. I've never thought to go that route. That's that's big brain. Th this is always one of the hardest ones. Did you see that timing? Bro, imagine he accidentally like missed the whip and then threw his run right there. He's, he's, dude, he's just speed running this thing. Oh, he's, he's gonna opt to not go for the KRM. HVK. HVK actually, I, I, I was actually thinking that. HVK, or I was thinking uh, like the KN44, but they're actually better on this map because you can keep, you kind of want to keep range from the, uh, from the Marquas, like, because they'll just stomp you, you know what I mean? You, you can't get up close and personal with them like you can the Panzers. Like Panzers, there's kind of a sweet spot where they're not launching like those shock darts at you and they're not like flame throwing you. There's a sweet spot that you want to be in. With Margulis, you just want to be as far away as Whoa, possible, right? Some luck right now. A little interested that he's not actually opting to use the uh, pack punch ICU or ICR. <laughs> ICU. <laughs> um, um, it's it's a little interesting to me. He's not actually doing that, bro. I was I after the last I reacted to the or Origins World Record, I was like so inspired to learn the Origins speed run. But now that I'm thinking about it. Shadows might be a more fun and interactive speed run to learn. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's easier. It's like way, way easier. That's for sure than the Origin speed run. I think the Origin speed run is literally the like hardest speed run ever. But um, I think it'd be really fun to to learn the Shadow speed run because it's a little bit easier. And uh, it's on BO3, which I, I obviously I just love BO3. He's opening up that pack much. He's grabbing the nuke, ending the round, grabbing that egg, taking a slam on the forehead. Literally doesn't care. He ain't got time. He ain't got time. Bro, B BO3's movement just makes me like so happy. BO3's movement just literally makes me so happy. So he's opting to actually not jump across right there, which is interesting. So is he literally just gonna be training this Margo around? He just, uh, that's so interesting to me that he that he's not taking the time to kill the Margo. Obviously it's riskier, but it's, it's weird that he like, like it, it's not a hard, like he could have had it k killed without wasting any time on actually killing the zombies right, right here. Also, that gobblegum luck to get the nukes, like, perfectly right there. Very nice. Maybe he's waiting for a pop shocks. Maybe he literally only... Woo! Man, that was so close to being a slam and then ending the run right there. That would have been so close to being a slam. I don't know if he actually saved time by, like, waiting to do that right there. I mean, either, either way, it's world record, so obviously he's, he he probably knows something I don't, but it doesn't seem like he actually saved time by doing that. You know what I mean? Kill the Margo! It's stressing me out! It's actually stressing me out so badly that he's not killing the Margo. Weevil! 
Bro, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Is he going for the pop shocks? Is that pop shocks? Wall power again, so he doesn't need that. I guess he literally only he literally only needs one weapon out of the entire. Is, it, is this is this pop shocks? That's per oh, he thought it was pop shocks because it was yellow and it ended up being a perka. Big rip, dude. I like this a lot. The beast mode maximization is so huge here. So this, I think this is the only one you actually physically need two beast modes in order to do everything you need to do for the Easter egg. Oh, he got the new, wow. The luck on this run. I guess he, he's opting to not get the nuke to end the round. I guess he thinks he has no zombies left to get the uh, canal one. Is the canal one the last one he has? Yeah, canal one. Might end up regretting this if he has to wait for a round change right here, but he might, he might, he, he probably like literally has each, the number of zombies in each round memorized. Bro, why, why are you not killing the Margua? Please, please kill the Margua. You see how it's slowing down the zombie spawns? Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm about to be mind blown if there's some like secret use that he has for this Margua that I'm not thinking of. I'm about to be absolutely mind blown, dude. Nope. Is that it? Bro, oh my gosh, it's so stressful. <laughs> there we go. Full egg. Bro, what? What? Why? Why? It, 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 it just has to be faster, right? There's not like some secret use or something. It has to be just straight up faster in some way. All right. Here we go. Sword upgrade process. I love Shadows of Easter Egg, man. I, all, all the all the people who make reviews on maps and stuff like that all say Shadows wasn't liked when it first came out. Bro, I loved Shadows when it first came out. What do you mean? Okay, not Pop Shocks. Um, so he, oh, I wonder, I wonder if he straight up would use round robin if he could. I feel like you get two uses out of the nuke and they're better on early rounds, but, oh, I just realized also you probably have to restart until you get Nero. The early kill, the early kill. That was tight. That was tight right there. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking that uh, what's it called would be better. Um, I was thinking that round robin would be better, but you, you get two uses out of the nukes here. Like he might just drop a nuke here at the beginning and then hit the gobble gun machine to like. Oh, he didn't get he didn't get the insta kill there. So now he's opting to kill the Margwa just because he has to do some more anyway. He got, he got two of the heads early. Bro, you know what this is also making me want to do is do a round 100. A round 100 uh, on uh, what's it called? On pre patch Shadows of Evil, dude. Free patch Shadows of Evil round one. Oh my gosh, the nuke luck, dude. He's just making sure he's down to the last of it. Because that wastes a ton of time if you, if you, yeah, nice. Bro, this is clean. Is he going to buy some more ammo here? Because he's very low. Wow, everything is working out so well. It's it's easy to just look at a world record run and be like, wow, he gets so lucky. But he's probably practiced this route a million times. He knows exactly what he's doing. You don't see the 50 failed attempts where he forgets to end up there to buy ammo, you know what I mean? Pop shock's perfect. So not only is he gonna progress through the round a little bit by using that nuke, he also now has pop shocks to kill the uh, Margos faster. It, it, it's dude it's just so cool to me that the best gobblegums aren't th on this map aren't necessarily like the most op ones 
try to save those pop shocks if he can. He's gonna knife this Margwa. Woo! A double swipe, dude. A double swipe was very spicy. And he, and he saved he saved one pop shocks by insta killing that other Margwa. He saved one real, real nicely. So this is the last, is this the last? He's on the last one already. Bro, it's 14 minutes in, man almost have, has an upgraded sword. I think one of my only complaints about Shadows is that the upgraded sword isn't exactly the most fun weapon to use in the entire world. I almost think the uh, unupgraded sword is more fun to use. So he's gonna have a total of three Margos this round because he just had a spawn. Dude, that's so weird that he, the Margo still swipes whenever he, he's like recoiled from being hit. You can literally see it happening, so it's not like it's an unfair mechanic, but you just don't expect it because you think they're like in pain and not able to actually do anything of value. All right, so he is uh, he's on upgraded sword. That's crazy. I'm interested to see his strat for, uh, for the meatballs step, the flag step. That quick switch away. Got the book yeah that's why that's why you have to be you have to be jeff goldblum for this map you literally have to restart until you get that certain character bro every map has something like it man origins you got to restart until you get that first robot this map you got to restart until you get jeff goldblum <laughs> does he opt to go for first here he got, i guess he's going for the spawn one Easy kill. No, oh, he's just he's just he's not doing this driver run away. That's definitely slower. This one is obviously more risky, but Bro, this Easter egg is like once you know the route, you got it down. You just need to have a good run. The difference between this map and Origins. And I, I want to do, I want to react to all the world record Easter eggs. Yes, even, even DE, even Zetsubo no Shima, even Revelations. I want to react to all of the Easter eggs and just, I feel like this is such a good indication of like how well designed a map is, is like the Easter egg speedrun. Because it, it's like, uh, and how in depth the map is too. Like Origins, there's a million more tricks than this map. I, I, I really, these, both of these maps are in double S tier, but Origins really does have, like, the top of the line, like, perfect, the perfect, like, in-depthness in zombies. There's so much to learn in Origins. You can play it casually, or you can literally not play it casually at all, and you're fine either way. But, oh my gosh, that, that map is, it just blows my mind every time I see the Easter egg for that map, and people who are really, really good at it. All right, so that is flag number one done. He's gonna go ahead and uh, what is he going to do here? Does he have to? In I, for I forgot the Easter egg. I think you have to end round, right? Also, there's Margwa. Yeah, you yeah you have to end round in between flag step, right? Oh yeah, because remember I tried to go for a round 100 Easter egg, and then I realized you have to end the round in between each of the flag steps. Very nice. Still has one pop shock. I'm kind of surprised he's not. Sp he also hasn't reloaded this bloodhound the entire time he's been playing. I, bro, I am I. I have like reload, reload anxiety. The fact that he's not reloaded this the, the entire time since he used the ammo in the very, very beginning. Okay. I wonder if there's like a certain order that you want to do these. There's probably one that you want to end up at. But I, I wonder if the middle ones actually matter a whole lot. HVK, man. All right. I think I called this actually the ICR earlier. I called it the ICU and then I called it the ICR. Oh, he actually opted to go for that trap. I guess you really don't. What do you need points for after this? Like what, what actually do you need points for? He's got no problem reloading this gun as much as it needs to be reloaded. <laughs> I 
Bro, it, this this just bullshit. shows like BO3's crispiness on gunshots. He's he's like knows exactly how many bullets to shoot. I feel like when you're playing BO2, sometimes you have to shoot a few more bullets than you think you have to, especially when you're playing online, because you're just not sure if it's actually gonna like work. Got one more pop shocks in the inventory. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not spinning for more pop shocks. Oh, you know what he's probably waiting for? Is he's probably waiting for raindrops so that he can use a de get a nuke and then use a death machine to kill the shadow man i bet i bet you that's what he does he uses those raindrops to get a death machine i, I i'm willing to bet i'm willing to bet that's why that's how he does the boss fight get because you get the nuke i like how he just ran through that meatball to kill it that was hilarious <laughs> Um, I think, I think definitely, definitely that's the, uh, Woo! that was almost the run. That was almost the run dead right there. Death machine, that's very, very lucky. Kill all the zombies faster. Good stuff. See, this is where I think, like, I don't know, man. It's like a 50-50 shot, I think. Because because I think Ram Robin would be more useful in, like, this situation. But then again, like, you don't get as many of them. Yeah, I, 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 I think he's just going to kill the rest of these Margwas, like, normally. And then just try to get a raindrops in his inventory for uh, for the boss fight. He's almost done, dude. There's only two more flags to do. Yeah, two more flags to do. Where's he going? He's going to the Waterfront District here. Waterfront District here. I, I really, I really want to like ask him which, which one of these, like, w like, why did you do it in this order? There's that raindrop I was talking about. I guarantee you he like at least saves one of these. Maybe he'll use one of these. Kind of just ignoring the bugs because he just needs to worry about protecting the flag because if he lets the flag blow up then that's gg if he lets the flag blow up it's gg you don't really need to worry about the bugs all too much oh he didn't even pick up the max ammo ops use the sword here realizes the sword actually kind of sucks <laughs> I wonder if this is like the most difficult one or something. He didn't even pick up the Xenomatter, dude. How can you stand right over it and just not pick it up? That hurts me so, that hurts me so. That actually hurts me so badly. Yeah, he keeps that pistol for the run speed, man. Anytime he's just traveling, whip out the pistol, dude. Right, there it is. Sword's back in. He's now recharging that sword. One, one more to do. See, I'm, what I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised he's not dropping a raindrops right now and just using, and using the uh, what's it called, the death machine on it and just saving the second raindrops for uh, the boss fight. Woo! Man, the number of times he's been slammed and not died yet. How did he not die? Wait, actually, how did he not die there? Huge insta kill. Man, the luck is so nice on this run. Probably gonna buy, buy some more ammo on the way out, I would assume. Oh, he didn't end the round, though. He, he, he just wanted to save it for the nuke. I, I thought he could use both the death machine and still save it for the nuke. Oh, that didn't end the round, though. He was trying to use... Wait, that little, like, beeping sound? He was trying to use his other raindrops gobble gum there. Maybe I'm wrong about his... Uh... There, finally reloaded it. Oh, thank goodness. Um, 
maybe I, maybe I'm wrong about his strat. Does he have something else that he's trying to do for the Shadow Man boss fight? Bro, this Easter egg is so good. I love this Easter egg a lot. Will he opt to use the sword? I like how he's just body blocking the flag. He's just taking hits from the meatballs. Yeah, the bugs are like a non-issue in this, basically. Like they, they cover your screen a little bit, but they don't actually do barely any damage. All right, so he's using the sword for the second one here. Really? I, I would have thought the second one would be easier. Hmm. Obviously, in Steve we trust. In Steve we trust. If there's one man we trust to know what he's doing, it's Steve. Yeah, I, this one just seems easier to me, man. You, you get like longer sight lines on the meatballs before they actually get to the flag. I don't know. I don't know. It probably You probably don't even need it in the first place. He doesn't even jump to get the max ammo. Because, I mean, wait, is he on boss fight? Yeah, he's literally on boss fight, isn't he? She, oh my god. Runs straight through the meatballs. Who cares? Not even going to worry about the max ammo. He's got a raindrops in his inventory. So, as long as he just doesn't get stomped by these Marquas in the boss fight, which obviously he doesn't, this is the world record solo run then he he wins this easy peasy yeah there we go Kaboom. so clean dude so clean dude wow 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 that was so clean 26 16 for the shadows of evil dude that that just felt so fast compared to origins i mean obviously it was like like a little over half the time that origins took but bro this was just so clean from start to finish and it's like easy to follow as well this is a map that i before black ops cold war comes out i want to try to speed run one map and i almost want to like watch all of the easter egg speed runs to see which one i want to do but this is this is going to be high up on the list. I really, really like this Easter egg speed run. I think Origins is like, I need like a lot longer than I'm willing to dedicate to it to uh, to get really, really good at Origins to have the God run. And Origins is just so much RNG. This is just straight up like zombie killing action skill. And I really, really like it, man. Steve, great, great job, man. Steve is the GOAT for a reason. And uh, I just want to watch that boss fight one more time, man. That was, that was so clean. Grabs the nuke, death machine. This, this just shows you how OP the death machine is. And boom, wow. Death machine mad OP. And even though it's not the actual end of the Easter egg, who cares, man? Who cares? That is, that is clean. I might do shadows. Shadows might be it. I, I, I'm going to be reacting to all the other ones, but I think shadows might be the one that I want to speed run. Thanks. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to Steve down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave a like, and let me know what Easter egg speed run you want me to react to next.